Hello my gorgeous babes out there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for watching today. In today's video, I am going to be playing with the new skin tint from Nava. This is the Skin Realist and I'm actually going to do a wear test and see if this works on my oily skin. I also have a bunch of other Nava products in my collection so I thought I would do a mostly full face of Nava. There are some things that I don't have from Nava but we're going to make it work. So if you guys are interested in seeing me put on the skin tint, try on some makeup and hang out with me for a little bit then keep on watching. my love bugs I hope you guys are all doing well I'm having a wonderful Saturday I probably drank way too much coffee because I feel so hyped up I got mojito on the background we are chilling and having a wonderful weekend so far but I'm excited Nabla is one of my favorite brands they're an Italian indie brand and they make such high quality products so I have no doubt that this skin tint will be great now let's see if it actually is something that works for oily skin type but I'll show you guys what the bottle looks like it's really pretty, the packaging, and it has a pump. We all love a good old pump. This has 1.6 fluid ounces of product, which is more than most foundations that usually come with one ounce. This retails for $34. You can get this off of Beauty Bay or Nabla's website. And from what it says about this skin tint, it has hyaluronic acid microspheres. So it says this dehydrated hyaluronic acid that will expand as it's on your skin and be like a sponge increasing volume to 30 times merely an hour after first application it improves the skin tone plumping it up and guaranteeing prolonged hydration we could all use some hydration we could all use some plumping and it's supposed to also help lift and help protect against external agents i mean it has a lot of claims this is improvement in skin texture after four weeks of usage hmm 31 percent more skin hydration and it's supposed to be suitable for all skin types, so we are about to test that. But okay, let's put it on my face and get into it. So I have the shade Medium 3. They only have seven shades. I do hope that they expand because I feel like there were gaps between some of the shades. But it is a skin tint, so it's supposed to work for multiple skin tones with one shade. But I think they're just trying to test out and see if this works for people, and then they'll expand the range because it is expensive to add additional shades and they are a smaller brand they're not as big as like Fenty that can come out with multiple shades but they do also have a foundation that's like a satin matte finish and that has 30 shades so I have no doubt that they will end up expanding all right so I got you zoomed in nice and close and I'll see how this applies on my face I'm gonna start off one half with my fingers because I saw them doing that on their Instagram I never put like face products with my fingers but would give it a try this is what the shade looks like it's a more thicker consistency doesn't have a scent to it and I did prime my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter face primer I've been testing it out and I've been really loving it so let's just put that on I just did one pump just to see what the coverage is like oh I think this shade is good for me hmm it spreads really easily I actually think that looks really nice it has decent coverage for being a skin tint I mean of course you can still see like my imperfections through and stuff because it's supposed to be more sheer but it definitely did even out my skin tone like you can definitely see a difference it took some of the redness out of my skin I like that so on the other side I want to use a brush because I typically like to put on my face products with a brush I just did one pump I dab it around my face and spread it around like that see how it does now of course if you went in with a sponge it'd probably be more sheer but I mean if you want it to be like really sheer and even more natural looking then you could do that as well I think this looks really good really healthy really glowy so let's add a little bit more I'm just gonna see if we can build up a little bit more coverage on the initial application I think this looks really pretty it spread easily and it definitely evened out my skin tone and was a good shade for me. So I also have a concealer from Nabla. This is the Close Up Stay Full Smooth Concealer. So this is in the shade Light Peach. This is a really nice concealer and it's a great shade for me, the Light Peach. It has a huge applicator and it has like a coconut scent to it. It smells like a beach vacation every time I smell it. And I'm going to use a dirty sponge, dab that in, 
but this is a very nice like natural finish concealer and look how easy it blends in and it's meshing with this skin tint really nicely all right so now i need to powder because my under eyes are very creasy it just comes with getting older and i'm gonna use the close up press powder from nabla like look at that packaging so nice and i have the shade medium in the powder which is slightly tinted nothing crazy then i'm gonna go in with this brush and just make sure i set because if not i will crease i mean i crease pretty much even with it but it helps to reduce the the amount of creasing okay so powder is done let's bronze so i have the skin of bronzing sunkissed effect bronzing powder in the shade dune so i'm gonna just put that on there hey, that's a nice color i think you guys can see it it's not overly warm it's just a nice little glowy bronzer i think this went on over like the skin tint and the powder really nicely it gave a nice little bronzy sheen so time for a blush and i also have the skin glazing glass skin finish glow powders i have two shades i have truth and adults only and i'm gonna mix these two because i feel like this one's too light to fully be a blush on me and then i feel like this one in adults only is a little too deep so i like to mix the two i like to just marry them together so i'm gonna just swirl in there swirl in there these are so glowy they make such a nice glowy blush <sighs> love love to glow and look at that combination it makes a beautiful shade when they're mixed together okay so cheeks are a glowing yes exactly what i like i just wanted to clean up around it so now that i'm glowing let's glow even more <laughs> i'm gonna use the other skin glaze in privilege which is a peachy gold shade this is so gorgeous these are great as highlighters like they have a bunch of lighter shades and they just literally glaze the skin it goes on so easily and it's so smooth all right i am looking like a little glowy peach and i love it i'm ready to take some photos do like a little editorial look all natural and glowy do you see it do you see it <laughs> oh my gosh too much coffee is running through my veins right now so now it is time for eye makeup i did prime my eyes with the juvia's place eye prep eye prime eye primer i've been loving this i did use this on a try on haul i did from ulta i'll link that below i'll put it up in the corner if you want to check that out but i've been testing this out and it's been doing a great job at like gripping the eyeshadow onto the eye and i also did do my brows with the bomb cosmetics ferocious brow pencil in dark brown and i used this brow gel from Kosas. it's really nice i'm liking this a lot it volumizes the brows really nicely it gives some tint i did feature this in my sephora vib haul that i did i'll also link that below if you guys want to check that haul out but now let's do the eye look so i got this secret palette from Nabla which was also part of my Ulta haul but I didn't actually use it on the camera so I want to use it today and I want to do a more chill neutral look because I feel like how I look right now it's a more natural glowy effortless look that I'm going for nothing like too dramatic so I think I'm going to focus on the neutral shades which is not typically what I do so I'm going to use my Nabla brushes this is from the Ruby collection it came in a set I think they're still available on their website but I'm going to go into ghibli i think that's the name of the shade it's like a warm toned brown and i'm gonna use that on the crease i'm gonna kind of move through this really quickly so we can get to the rest of the video but blending out like a dream i love nabla's eyeshadow formula it's so good i'm gonna take this little brush and i'm gonna run it ghibli on the bottom too like i said this is going to be a very simple look today I'm so not used to going like natural like my heart wants to use this like I want to use the teals and just be all dark and extra but not today let's be chill I can do this I can do this Brownie you can do this all right so I'm going to take a little bit of Mia Culpa Culpa Mia Culpa you guys have to let me know if I'm saying these things right I think that's Italian um I mean they are an Italian brand oh that's a nice like deep brown i'm gonna just use that all on the outer crease and on the edge of the lower lash line on the outer edge 
I'm gonna go into Romeo right here. This looks like a satin shade. I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm just going to put that right here where the end of the deeper matte is and just use it right there so we can just have everything flow together. Now for the rest of the lid, I'm gonna lay down a little bit of the NYX glitter primer just because I want to amp up the metallic that I'm gonna use there because I still wanna have you know super glowy lids because i just can't help myself so i'm thinking i'm going to use this shade called hyper sensual it has like shimmery specks in it it looks pretty let's see yes maybe yes so i'm gonna dig into that it has like a little shimmery specks in it and i'm gonna top that on oh i feel like it has like a a shift to it is it me or does it look like it has a shift like a pinky shift to it I, I don't know if I'm imagining things but I feel like this definitely has some pink to it but that that is pretty so let's do some eyeliner so I have the Nabla Stereo liner I haven't tried this one before I was in need of a good liquid liner and I think this has a brush tip, but I'll show you guys what this looks like. I've heard great things about this eyeliner as well. So I'm gonna do a wing. I'm gonna try to do it on camera for you guys. And let's see how this works. Um, that was easy. The line just drew on so easily. I think I took it a little too far down, but that was so effortless. And the tip on this is so fine. It's just... No, of course, I'm not good at eyeliner. Like, I struggle with liquid liner. Wow, that was really easy to use. It's very pigmented. The tip is super fine. It's so easy to make a more defined, like, wing. I like this a lot. So I'm going to do my other eye off camera because you've seen enough of this struggle bus. Okay, the wings are done. I don't think they match perfectly, but my eyes aren't like perfectly symmetrical. I mean, it is what it is, but I usually struggle putting on liquid liner. I just do. But this was actually pretty easy to use. It's very opaque. It glides on. The tip is nice and fine. So I really, really like this. It made it a lot easier for me because normally I struggle even more. So that was a good liner. So now that that is done, I'm going to tight line with this pencil from Nabla. This is the Cupid's Arrow Full Color stylo and it's in the shade black it came in the set with the liquid liner so I was going to use something different on the waterline but I think I'm just going to use the stylo to keep it simple add a little bit of smokiness so I'm gonna put on some mascara I have the Nabla major pleasure mascara it's one of my favorite mascaras and I bought a new one and I threw out my old one because this is so good at volumizing and lengthening the lashes and it's a wet formula so if you don't like a wet mascara you'd probably hate this but if you do you will love this because it's so good at coating the lashes you just have to be careful because it's easy to like transfer this on your lids and stuff because it's a wet formula and now let's do the lips really quickly so i'm going to use the nabla close-up lip shaper these lip liners are so good so creamy and very easy to use and they last really long so i'm going to line my lips this is the shade number five All right, the lip lining is done. It is a deeper, like, chocolate shade. Then I'm going to go in with this lighter lipstick. This is the shade Metropolitan. And this is such a nice lipstick from Nabla. It's like a traditional lipstick formula. It's very creamy. And it's a, like, nudey, beigey shade. So I'm just going to use that in the center part. And kind of blend those together. Alright, I think that went together very nicely. I love Nabla's lip formulas. Like, I love their liquid lipsticks. They're, like, more, like, satin liquid lipsticks. I love their normal lipsticks. I mean, they have really, really good lip formulas as well. So you guys should definitely check them out, as well as their eyeshadows. So good. So let me zoom you guys out. Look at my little guy back there. Isn't he just the freaking cutest? I could just stare at him all day. Okay, we're probably being too loud. He's like 
girl you're too loud i'm gonna turn my back on you now <laughs> but anyway so get zoomed out here is the finished look with all the novel products and i feel like a natural glam goddess and i'm just really loving all the makeup that i use so the time right now is 12 50 so i'm gonna try to wear it for at least 10 hours on my face i will probably check in in the middle of the day to let you guys know if i need to touch up or how it's looking but so far i love how this makeup is right now and like how my skin looks really glowy but like natural and gorgeous I'm, I'm feeling myself right now so let me go run some errands i'm gonna put some furniture together probably run around and pick some stuff up from the grocery store so i'll try to test it out and see how it lasts and we'll go from there all right my love bugs i am outside i'm filming on my phone right now but i just wanted to show you guys my makeup in natural light i've had it on for about five hours and i think it looks really good i mean i definitely look very dewy sheeny and my oils are coming through but it looks like a very natural glow and i'm just really surprised for a skin tint that's hydrating to be doing this fall on my oily skin now I haven't gone anywhere, but I've been putting furniture together, I've been sweating, I've been going in and out of my house, into the garage, bending down, using tools, and I've definitely worked up a sweat, so this is doing really good. So let's go into my makeup room, I'll do some touch-ups with powder and see how that works, and then we'll go from there. All right, here we are back in the makeup room and I am looking so shiny now that the lighting is on my face. So the time is 629 as you can see here. So I've had this on actually about seven hours because the last time I told you guys it was 1250 and I had my face makeup on for about an hour from that point. So I would say we're going on to almost seven hours. And that is pretty good for seven hours. I've not touched up my face. I haven't put any extra powder, nothing like that. So I thought we would see how well this does with powdering after it's gotten oily. We're gonna go back in with the Nabla close-up powder and see how well it does. So we definitely need to get some of this shine away. But let's do that. Makeup's looking really good. That primer, that eye primer is so good. Brows are staying true. All right, seven hours. I'm still looking pretty good. Okay, so I think this is powdering really good. It's not like getting weird because sometimes certain foundations when you try to powder after it's gotten like kind of oily and shiny, it looks like funky and cakey, but that is not happening with this at all. All right, let me get my big fluffy brush so I can just kind of dab everywhere else now. What do you guys think? Wow. Like it didn't really collect in my nose like that. I am very, very impressed. Like, of course, I definitely got shiny, but I mean, this is what I would normally do with any kind of skin tint or foundation. I would touch it with powder in the middle of the day, and I think this touched up just fine. I don't have any patches anywhere. Like, none of the makeup has been removed anywhere at all. And, you know, I rub my face throughout the day a lot, <laughs> and it just habit, but it's looking good. It's looking really good. Anyway, so I'm going to go run some errands. I'm going to go to the grocery store really quickly. So I will be putting on a face mask. We'll see how it does under a face mask. But anyways, it will be immediate for you. But I will be back in five hours. And we will see how it is and my final thoughts. Okay, guys. It is time for my final check-in. And let you guys know how it's doing. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see my skin up close. So here we are. It is, let me show you guys the time. 10.08 so I've had this on for about 10 hours I was going to try to do 12 hours but I am just too tired and I'm ready to take a shower and get in some comfy clothes and just relax but here is my skin right it's a little dewy it's a little shiny but it looks really really good it did not kick up around like my nostrils which foundations can do and never got cakey on the skin I have all of it here there's no like patches that have been removed and I was wearing a face mask when I went to the grocery store and I did get caught in the rain I feel like you can see my like pores but nothing too crazy I mean this is great for 10 hour wear and I do have such an oily skin type so I'm impressed I definitely thought like a lot of it would be gone by the end of the day but it hung in there and it stayed super lightweight and it felt so good. I feel like if I just powdered up my face right now, I would be able to go another two to three hours wearing this. But 
that that was it so let me zoom you guys out and give you my final thoughts all right guys so my final thoughts is i like this product a lot i think it did really good for being a hydrating skin tint kind of product i think it did great on my oily skin and never once felt heavy it didn't transfer off my face it didn't do anything weird now of course i got shiny and dewy throughout the day but you can easily powder this product and it doesn't get weird and cakey when you put powder on it now I feel like I could just powder up right now, which I'll do a little bit of that, and I could wear this for another two to three hours and I feel like I would still look really good. And I'm just impressed. I like this just as much as I like the Fenty skin tint. The Fenty one is a little bit more mattifying, a little bit more like long wearing, but overall I really like this product. I will have to test it out some more and use like different primers, different methods, different powders to see if I can make it even more shine proof. But I'm happy. I think it's a great product. So I do hope this video was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this wear test. And let me know in the comments below if you like wear tests, if you like these kind of videos and just whether you pick this product up or not or you know what your skin type is. Did you pick it up and have dry skin or normal skin? Let us know how it worked for you. That's very helpful for other people who have different skin types because I can only speak from a person with oily skin. And if you are new here and you like fashion, makeup, beauty, and all that fun stuff please hit that subscribe button and join this little family we got going on and don't forget to check out the description below i have all the products i use today linked where you can find the foundation other videos you might be interested in as well as my contact information i'm also on instagram as breezy lifestyle and breezy underscore beauty if you want to check me out over there and join my instagram fam i would really really love that but whew, I'm winded. I'm ready to go to bed. But that was everything, guys. Thank you so much for being here and taking the time to watch this video. And I just hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world and just sending you love and light. But until next time, bye, guys.